Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create a listing on Facebook Marketplace. So welcome to the Esatino Artist YouTube channel where we talk about money, marketing, and mindset. So first thing is I'm going to be creating this listing on desktop, on a laptop. I will also have a mobile tutorial in the upcoming weeks. So make sure you are subscribed if you want to see the mobile version of me listing. Okay. So first thing you want to do is start off on your Facebook homepage and you'll see here I'm in home. And if you hover over to the middle, that is the marketplace. So we'll click on that and then you'll see here, create a new listing. From here, we want to choose the listing type and it's going to be an item for sale. All right. So we're going to add our photos. Now, before you get on the computer to start your listing, make sure you take your photos beforehand and do a little photo shoot with your product and make sure that your photos are not blurry. Don't be that person that uploads blurry photos of their product. So I'm going to click on add photos. I've got all the photos here. I'm going to be selling my mom's old cell phone. So I'm going to highlight all of those and upload them. It says here that you can upload up to 10 photos. I generally like to upload more than one photo. I just don't want there to be any mystery behind the product. I want the person who's viewing it to know exactly what they're going to get. And then, so when they purchase it, you know, there's not going to be any problems. So I like to be as clear as possible with what they're purchasing. Once you've uploaded your photos, you can rearrange them and you want to put your best photo first. So for me, I think I'm going to have maybe this one be first. I want to show the photo where it shows everything at first. Uh, maybe this one, let me just play around here. No, I think I'll do that one and then we'll do that one. Okay. That looks good. So the first photo is always going to be the most important. You want it to be your best photo. And for me, I feel that the best photo is this photo because it's showing the cell phone in a case with the charging cord and the wall adapter. And then as you go through, you can see that I've shown different aspects of the phone with the case, even it comes apart. So I've, I've even shown that the side of the cell phone and then just the cell phone itself. Next, we're going to scroll down and add the title. So before I came on here to film this, I just jotted a couple of bullet points about the phone. So I'm going to type them in now. This is a Samsung Galaxy A8 cell phone, excellent condition, exclamation mark. Then you want to choose your price. So I'm going to go with 250 and see what happens there. I generally like to start off high because people will message me and you know, they'll try to make me offers and go lower. So I generally like to start from a higher price point because if I started off lower, let's say at 150, then it, it can only go lower from there. Next is the category. And let's scroll through here. Electronics, mobile phones. Okay. Next is the condition. It is pretty much like new. I would say it's very excellent. My mom did a really good job keeping that in good condition. Device name. All right, so it's not listed in here. So let's see if I can type in. No, I can't type in. So I'm just gonna have to leave that blank because I guess these are the latest. And I won't be able to change it. So mine's not listed. So I'm just going to leave that blank. And then for the description, I usually have like a templated way of writing a description. 
as I have been selling on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist for a long time. So I'm just gonna paste that in. All right, so I'm done with the description and I've pasted this. So I've put selling for 250, originally bought in store for 599. I wanna show that, you know, this was a more expensive phone before, but now it's, you know, 250 to show that there is you know, a deal happening here. I mentioned the condition again, and you know, it doesn't matter how many times you say that, people will still ask you the condition. I put the model number here, you know, the space storage, the color, what it comes with. Oh, I forgot to put the case. Wall adapter and cell phone case. And I also put this line, this phone has been reset to manufacturer settings and is ready for the next user to let people know that, yeah, I did clean it up. You know, the phone is completely ready to be set for the next person. I also put this line, great for anyone on a budget or for kids to play games. So I wanna give people that idea that, hey, maybe I should just get this cell phone for my kid to play on. And then I also put this line on the different cities that I can meet in. It will depend on where I am during the week. So you wanna list what cities you can meet in. If you only want them to do, if you only wanna do a pickup or a drop off, like state that in there, what you can do in terms of meeting up. All right, so now we want to add the product tags. So I'm going to put like Samsung, cell phone, smartphone, used phone, like new, Samsung Galaxy, and I'll do another one, Samsung Gal Galaxy A8. All right, let's continue scrolling down. Uh, the location, you can change your location. I'm just gonna set it to Vancouver. This is a single item. You can um, list more if you have like a bunch more stuff, like if you have a ton more inventory, but this is just one cell phone. And then here you can choose your privacy settings. So you can choose to hide this from your friends. This listing will be hidden from your Facebook friends, but will be visible to other people on Facebook. So I'm gonna leave that unchecked. I'm okay with if my friends see that and they wanna purchase it, like that's totally fine. I'm okay with that. But if you don't want that, then you would just click that on. All right, so now we've reached the bottom. We will click next. And then here, it's gonna ask you if you wanna list in more places. So I'm in a bunch of other groups and I generally don't like to list in all these other groups. So I'm just gonna leave it in the marketplace. So I'm gonna click publish. And you can also see here on the preview side, you can preview your listing and see what it looks like. Looks good, so now I'm gonna click publish, and then boom, there you go. The cell phone is now listed. It does say that the listing is being reviewed, but it should be fine, it should be good to go after that, and then my listing will be live. Okay, so let's quickly talk about what happens when someone actually messages you and says that they're interested. So if someone messages you, it's going to be through the Facebook chat, and you'll typically get a message saying like, is this available? Some people might start off right off the bat saying, oh, can I get this for a discounted price? Now it depends on you if you're willing to go down in price. That's why I list it higher so that I can go down in price because you know there's a tactic if you do go down in price then they, the person thinks that they've gotten a deal so then they're more likely to purchase. Once you both agree on the set price, you want to set a date and time and location to meet. You generally want to meet in a public place during the day where there's people around. I usually do them in front of Starbucks coffee shops, in front of grocery stores, in the mall. It's always a good idea to meet in a public place if you can. And if you can't because you're selling something really big or heavy like a couch or something, just make sure that there's someone else at your home or whatever with you just to be safe. In terms of the money exchange, 
some people might request to send you like an email interact, which I do accept. It's very common now. Back when I was first starting on Craigslist, it was all cash, only cash, but a lot of people aren't really handling cash right now and they just do like an e-transfer. As long as they send the e-transfer beforehand, before we actually meet, or actually while meeting, they send it to you and you get it on your phone and you can see that you can deposit it. Only then do you give them the actual product. And so that's generally how most transactions for me take place. All right, so let's pretend that we're on the home screen again, because I know a lot of people can't find how to get back to their listing. So here's like, as if you were to sign into Facebook, you want to make sure to head over to the marketplace. And then on the left hand side, go over to your account. And then it should show up your listings. And as we see here, my listing is now live. I can then click on it and it's going to give me a bunch of options. I can boost this listing. It costs money to boost a listing. I may boost it after a couple of days if I don't get too many inquiries. I also do have another tutorial on boosting your listings. You can mark this as pending. I don't usually mark things as pending if someone's messaged me and they're interested. I don't take it off until it's sold and it's in the other person's hand. From here, you can also click edit listing and go in and change your photos, change the description. You can delete your listing. And if you click on more, which is the three dots, you can view the listing, list in more places, share the listing or share it on a friend's profile, or you can just grab the link to share it to someone. So I can click on view listing. And this is what a person would see if they were to land on my listing. So that is it. That is how you create a listing on Facebook Marketplace. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by giving us a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. If you want to see my other Facebook Marketplace tutorials, you guys can head down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.